Hello, this is Lori. This is video number five. Um, and the last one we'll do, unless there's other ones that we feel need to be done, or if you would like something explained uh, better, or there's something that we didn't cover, just let me know and we'll cover that. Um, this is going to be talking about notifications. Uh, they can get out of hand very quickly on Mighty Networks <clears throat> because they're, they're, they tend to... Um, the default is everything is on when you sign up. So you have to go fix that because it makes you crazy otherwise. Um, so we're gonna show you how to take care of your notifications. Um, you'll notice up here, you have your little notification bell. So when you when you click on that, you'll see um, what notifications you have. This is your, um, and next to it is your chat. So there's an all member chat. And then there's, you know, people can chat individually here and you'll see those um, when you click on that. Um, to let you know what notifications you can get, um, groups, you have the choice, I believe, to follow. I, I can't show you exactly because I'm hosting all these groups, um, so it doesn't let me, but when you click on a group um, header, it'll let you follow the group when you join. Um, you can also follow members. So like, for instance, I'm following Rich. Um, I'm following a few people just because I know like Brian is the editor of Photo Focus. So I tend to follow so I know what he's posting. Um, I would suggest um, following some of the Photo Focus team. Uh, that way you'll, you know, see what's going on. Rich and I will probably be making, and Brian will be the ones making any kind of announcements or adding events and that sort of thing. Um, so following us three might be a good idea. You know, I, none of us right now are posting like crazy. So you're not going to get notifications, you know, that you don't want. Um, so in general, to fix your notifications, you click on your profile picture up in the corner and go to your settings and notifications. Um, and then you can choose how you wanna be notified. You can turn on your mobile or off. Um, you can get email updates for notifications. So you can get, if everything is turned on, you get a notification when somebody like likes your post, uh, when somebody posts in a group you're following. Um, so that is all what we're gonna show you how to change right now. Uh, you can be, you can choose to get every single activity as it happens. So every time somebody sends you a message, every time somebody comments on a post that's yours, you'll get an email. Um, I don't know about you. I get enough emails. <laughs> so what you can do, I have mine turned on right now just because we're getting started and I don't want to miss anything um, in case somebody needs help or something. Um, but what you can do is click on di daily digest and you'll get a daily email that will just get a, is a collection of all the notifications you've gotten that day. That might be a better way to do it. Might be, uh, you know, a lot less um, distracting <laughs> to do it that way. Um, and a better use of your time, I would, I would guess as well. Um, so here's the individual ones. So this is what I was talking about. If you have cheers on your stuff, on every time somebody clicks that little heart on your post, on your article, on anything that you've put up, you're going to get a notification. That one's a little out of hand. I don't personally think that one's necessary unless you really want to see how many people like your, like your uh, post. Um, again, I have most all everything turned on at the moment because I want to make sure I'm keeping up on things here. But um, so you can turn on and off. If you want to make sure you don't miss people's comments on your, on your posts, I would leave that on. Um, if it gets out of hand, you know, you have the opportunity to come in here at any time and change your notifications. So you, you know, it might take you a while to get a feel for, you know, what the best level of notifications is. Um, comments after you. So if you comment on somebody's post um, and you have this turned on, anytime somebody comments after you, you're going to get a notification. So that's another one. It's a good way to follow a conversation though, um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, if somebody asks a question and you're interested in the answers or you're interested in what other people have to say about the same um, topic, then I would keep this on. Um, you'll, you'll get a feel for that eventually as well. Um, 
anytime someone at mentions you. So if I'm posting and I want to tag somebody um, in the post, I type in the at sign and tag them and they'll get a notification that I tag them in a post. Um, I don't see a lot of this happening right now. So that may or may not be an issue at the moment. Um, anytime, anytime one of the hosts posts or updates anything, I would keep that one on. So you are aware of what's happening in the community. Um, right. Again, we're not posting crazy amounts of stuff anyway. Uh, and the same with events and reminders. Um, that way you're knowing when something new comes on or uh, there's a new event posted, things like that. Um, polls, answers and results. You know, if you're posting a poll, of course, you're going to want to know the answers and results. So I would leave that on. I don't, we're not, again, this is a, this is a feature that, you know, mostly the hosts are using um, at, and, you know, you may or may not use it, but uh, questions you can help answer. So when somebody posts a question and then they tag it as a question, it'll pop up and um, you might be able to help them if you get a notification that that, that question was posted. So uh, activities relevant to you. Again, this is a good place for if you have your location on your profile, when somebody nearby joins, it'll let you know that or somebody who's interested in the same topics as you, that part of it may get a little out of hand at, at first. Um, once we're into this though, quite a bit and everybody's settled into places they're going to be and, and interacting, it, it won't be, it won't be. So, um, you know, I would leave chat messages on, you don't, in case somebody contacts you for some reason, um, ambassador notifications, you don't really need those on. Um, unless you're inviting a bunch of people and you just want to know that you're inviting people and that they've joined. Um, and when you level up, you get little, little medallions <laughs> next to your name. Um, and those are only for hosts, those last two. So then when you're in groups, <clears throat> the groups that you join also have notifications. So depending on the settings that you've chosen up here, that also affects how your settings are, what comes through in your group. So if you're, if you're tagged to get notifications for astrophotography and you've got um, comments on your stuff turned on, you'll get a notification in the astrophotography group whenever you get a comment on your post, if that makes sense. So any group notifications pull down from your general notifications. So any group that you have your notifications turned on for, those notifications will be the same notifications that you've turned on in general. It seems kind of confusing, but it, it's the same notifications in a group. So if I don't want to get Photoshop notifications, I'm in the group, I can still go in there, I can check around, you know, but. I'm not likely to post in there very often, so I don't really need to get notifications for that group. You know, then I'll turn it off. But that's your notifications. Um, you know, play with it a little bit, see what works for you. Um, you know, we're all going to be different. We're all have different amounts of time available to, uh, you know, play in the community. Um, the other thing I want to mention is if you are commenting on a post and it's a huge post and there's tons of comments and your comments are, your comment notifications are turned on. And you're like, you know, I already made my comment. I already told the person I love this. I don't, you know, I, I don't really want to see notifications anymore for this. You can go to that person's post. So say we're, you know, we've commented on Steve's post here, but I don't really care. That's not a good way to part it. I care. But I, I, there's there's so many comments on it, and I'm getting pinged all the time, and there's all these notifications, and and it's other people, you know, telling him they love his photo. Well, I can go up here to these three dots on that post, and I can actually mute the post. So I'll get the the notifications that I want, but then when I'm, you know, it's like okay, everybody's just commenting on this, and there's nothing further here for me to see or or get anything out of. I can mute the post, and then I won't get any more notifications that somebody else commented on the post behind me. So that's also an option. Um, just get a feel for things, um, you know, see what you've got turned on and turned off. Um, 
and you know, it's all about managing your time and, and, you know, what you really want to be involved with and what you don't really have interest in. Um, so, um, if you have any questions, as always ask me, ask anybody who has a photo focus team member tag on their profile. Um, we're all here to help you and each other. So thank you. <laughs>